Spelling and reading are linked through the orthographic processing part of the brain. It is here that words get decoded and encoded. Understanding how spelling develops in students and how to support that development will ensure that students understand that the English language is not merely a linguistic guessing game. At the end of the school year, a first grade student reflected on the act of writing. Paper is like a road, and the words are the cars. I thought this was a profound statement from a six-year-old. Imagine yourself driving down the highway surrounded by erratic drivers, drivers who aren't following the rules of the road. You might feel a sense of panic, or at least some anxiety. The English language is more predictable than you may think, so it's time to stop saying there's no rhyme or reason to why words are spelled the way they are and start figuring out what the reason is. According to Donald Bear, Shane Templeton, and Marcia Invernizzi in their acclaimed Words Their Way series, the English language operates within three layers or levels. The alphabet, sound level, which you might recall as phonics and phonemic awareness. The pattern level, where students start to recognize common rhymes or syllable patterns and the meaning level, where students learn how parts of words carry certain meanings, which can help not only with the spelling of those words, but also how to understand what the words mean. When students effortlessly employ these three layers during reading and writing, both processes work more efficiently. In general, children using the English language system move along a developmental continuum of acquiring spelling behaviors. When analyzing student spelling at different ages or grade levels, you should expect to see a progression that looks like the one pictured here. English language learners will need to start at the alphabet sound level in order to become proficient readers and writers of English. In fact, when working with English language learners, Donald Bear and his research team have found five common spelling errors. Of course, these do not represent all of the spelling errors ELL students might make, but these five are quite common. First, students may confuse sounds that are similar, such as s and z. Their home language may not use that sound, so students might substitute a similar sound because they do not firmly understand the difference. Next, it is common for students to substitute a known word for an unknown word. This may occur if the words share similar sounds or function in a similar way. Third, English writing is not transparent. It is opaque because some letters combine to make a variety of sounds. English language learners often expect that each letter will be sounded, so they look for greater consistency. They may add sounds when they try to slowly sound out. Fourth, you might notice greater variability. They may spell words that you think are hard correctly while misspelling easier words. This could be because English language learners memorize the spelling of words that are beyond their basic orthographic knowledge. And finally, it is very common for ELLs to omit endings such as the plural S and or middle syllables, especially short vowels. Assessing spelling level is a critical component to understanding which spelling level a student is operating within. This is explained more fully in the Assessing Spelling section of Module 9, but there are a few developmental spelling assist assessments listed here that you might want to look into. In conclusion, it may be time to stop giving random lists of spelling words each week and expecting children to become better spellers without explicit instruction. Look at their writing and assess their spelling level over the course of a year. Are they improving? Then your method of spelling instruction is probably working. If they're not improving or they're spelling the same words wrong over and over, it's time to rethink your approach. 
The goal of spelling instruction is to create lifelong writers who understand the importance of spelling and how to improve their ability to spell increasingly difficult words with increased levels of accuracy. If you would like to know more about how to implement a word study approach to the, your, the spelling in your classroom, check out any of these references.